Hello, everybody, and welcome to HD Piano. This is Dan here with a lesson on Build Me Up Buttercup by The Temptations. This is a melody version arrangement. We're going to take a look at the intro and chorus in this first of four videos. Here's that much. One, two, ready, and. to the verse. All right, the rest of this lesson can be found at hdpiano.com. This is our very own arrangement. We hope you like it. Question before I get breaking this intro and chorus down, I'd like to know where you first heard the song or your most fond memory of it. I think uh, for me it was There's Something About Mary, the movie soundtrack. Um, yeah, I mean, this is played all over the place. So comment below. Where do you remember it from? All right. Middle C is right here, and we start with octave C's in the left hand. Um, I'm going to make the note again. This is a melody version arrangement, meaning we're putting that vocal line in the top voice. Right? We do have the accompaniment version lesson separate of this. If you're looking for that, you can head in that direction. All right, so the intro is simple enough. this nice punctuated rhythm on C's, E's, F's, and G's. One, two, and three, and four, and, and, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, and, and three, and four. I'm going to trust that you can sort that out, and then the right hand comes in. All right, so this is a lot more involved, the right hand. Let's break that down. G, C, F. That's a, G, a C sus chord. And then we resolve the top note down to E. Now we have an E7, which is G sharp, B, F. That would be a flat 9. So you can see the top voice is doing a lot of moving and everything else is staying the same. That's going to be a trend throughout the rest of this melody version. That's kind of how this works. The melody moves and the harmony stays put. And then we have a shape here on F6. And then we play all G's. And right there we have D, F, A, C, C, F, A, B, D, G, and then our C sus chord, G, C, F. And then that takes us into the first instance of actual vocals. Why? Right? We're going to get to that in a second. Let's recap this intro real slowly, hands together. By the way, the left hand here is playing the same thing it did in the first few measures by itself. Um, just a little bit more understated, so take a look at that as we play it slowly. Two, and ready, and intro. Okay, that's a trend in the left hand as well. Octaves and that kind of punctuated bass line rhythm, right? So now the chorus. This one's a tough one to put on piano because we have a lot of layers going on and a lot of just nuanced vocal bends and um, tendencies that we can't, really, we can't really replicate accurately on the piano, but we're doing our best here. So, like for example, that, that first line. We have that echo. That's really hard to do on the piano. But here's what it looks like. We have to play the second line quieter. That's the echo. And then... This is going to look a lot like the intro, right? 
We have an echo there. Okay, and again we have that C sus. Echo. Echo. I love you still, I mean you. Okay, so let's stop right there. If you're good at recognizing patterns, you'll see that, as I've mentioned before, the right hand top is moving. The middle notes, or the bottom of the right hand, are mostly staying put. Okay, that's a really tough technique to, to nail down. So if that's not your thing, you're not ready for that, you can just play this. Just, just the single melody, no harmony supporting it, but you can hear it, right? You can, you can still hear the line. Okay, so moving on. I need you, I need you more than anyone, darling. That's just the C chord, G, C, E, G. And then A, down to our C sus. We have big F chord, F, A, C, F. Top voice goes down, and then we make it minor with D and C in the melody. So here we have our C sus line. And now this is like a G6, G, B, E, down to G, and then D, G, C, D, G, B, and an F6 chord resolving to F, F, A, D, and then C. And then we kind of punctuate it with this. Um, that's C over E, D minor, and then C. And then we're into the verse. Okay, so I've thrown a lot at you here, but I don't want to overstate how simple it can be, right? If you're looking for something really simple, just look to the top voice in everything that I'm playing. Disregard everything else in the right hand. The top voice. Okay? All right. I think we're ready to play that chorus at a super duper slow mo speed. And the left hand again is just bouncing this. Something like that. It will vary because it's kind of an improvised part, but um, it's just octaves and it's just the root of every chord that we learn, now with a couple excep exceptions. So look for those exceptions and I trust that you'll be able to pick them apart. Here we go. One, two, three, four, chorus. Okay, so the one bass line that isn't just playing the root is B 
B flats here, and then F over A's, and then F over A flat, F minor. Okay. So those were the variances in the left hand. Okay, uh, let's play, I think we're ready to play a medium speed intro and chorus. Use that looping tool if you're at hdpiano.com or use the speed control tool to slow this down to your speed because there is a lot here to digest. And uh, I know that we, all, we don't all learn at the same pace, so use the tools available. Here we go. It's medium speed intro and chorus. Two and ready and play. Now let's try it at recorded speed, 135 BPM. One, two, intro and chorus and. All right, bravo to those of you still with me. This is a complicated piece, and I hope you'll find me over at hdpiano.com to learn the rest. If you have song ideas, send them to requests.hdpiano.com. Go find us on social media and say hello. We do love hearing from you guys. And uh, comment below, where did you first hear this piece? I'm curious. Again, I'm Dan, and this is hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson. I'll see you there.